Hi friends, in this video I have explained in detail about the cleaning and maintenance of the various uh, parts of my robotic cleaner Red Hawk 21 which is required for its smooth and trouble free operation. So let's see. So the first thing to be cleaned is the dust box here. So initially after the first three days of usage it has to be cleaned and later on weekly once at least you have to clean it. So you press this uh, button to eject the dust box and take it out like this. So once the dust box is removed, this is how you have to open and clean it. So I open the dust box cover and then empty the dust. So if you feel your dust collection is more, then you can do it even more frequently you can remove and uh, remove it more frequently than once a week so i think this is uh, a collection of four five days i think the cleaning brush with which i'll clean it this box can also be washed under running water but then you have to dry it and then fit it back now i'll take out the filter assembly by holding these two This again needs to be cleaned with a brush. So they have provided this brush mainly for cleaning these things. So this is the filter screen which I clean now. Now I also remove this uh, sponge. This also needs to be cleaned. And this also can be removed. So this is a regular thing which has to be done. I'm fitting this back, filter screen back. And then closing the dust box cover. So now I'll fix the dust box back into the vacuum cleaner. So I've inverted it to clean the other parts. So firstly, I'll clean the charging pole pieces. You can see them here. For this, uh, you have the power has to be off. So you wipe it with a dry cloth. So now I have to remove the metal sweeper to clean it. So for which I'll hold this uh, lock lever. I'll push it like this and lift it up. And uh, this is the middle sweeper. Again, here again, I have to pull it out like this. So you can see all the dust and hair, human hair accumulated. So for this, this brush has got a blade here. So which can be used to remove this hair, cut the hair. can see so much of hair, hair is entangled. Once it is cut, it is easy to pull out. So this middle sweeper brush actually draws a lot of hair. We don't have pets. This is human hair. So people generally highlight pet hairs. It is also taking in human hair. So this, uh, this particular uh, brush has to be cleaned regularly so that uh, robotic cleaner functions smoothly.
so much of hair is entangled in this middle sweep of brush so now that i've cleaned it i'll put this back so this thing this end will go here and i'll place this Next is the cleaning of the front wheel. Get clean with a brush. This has to be done regularly. The cleaning of the front wheel, the left and right wheel. Here too, you have to check whether any hair is entangled. So next cleaning is the two side brushes you can see a lot of hair entangled for this you have to use a screwdriver to open this to remove this side brush you can see so much of hair entangled this will affect the performance of the robotic cleaner so this has to be removed regularly so similarly i'll do the other side also last but the most important cleaning is the cleaning of the sensors here here and here and also here with a soft cloth this has to be done after every cleaning work is completed every time you do cleaning after that it has to be done because if there is any dust it will affect the performance